Hello, my loves. So, I'm in Minnesota, it's freezing. I got my hot chocolate and my marshmallows, and I'm like, you know what? Let me put out some videos for individual signs. I haven't done that in forever. So, this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, these are timeless, so whenever you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Special shout out to my good friend Kim. She just opened her own crystal shop. The link for her website is below. So guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a huge giveaway. Um, every single week, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, um, runes, crystals, Bibles, self-help books. It's a lot of fun, okay? All the details for the giveaway are below. Um, you just have to shoot me an email to enter the giveaway. I also do a $250 giveaway every month. You don't have to enter for that giveaway. I just choose a winner from the comments. Um, I just read what you guys are going through, you know. All right, guys. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. All right, so there you are, Leo, king of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Two of Pentacles. And the Star, Aquarian energy. We have the World. This is interesting. And the Four of Wands. So, Leo, there's an energy of there's an energy of someone who has it together, like very confident energy. Um, this person may be very good looking, very charismatic, well off financially, you know what I'm saying? And th like they have everything you could possibly think of. So this could be you, Leo, this could be, you know, I'm sure you're going to be like, oh yeah, it's me. Um, but it could be you or it could be your person. But the crazy thing here is that we have somebody is like, okay, I know they're good looking and I know they, they, they love me and they have everything that I want and everything that I manifested and everything that I could have possibly wished for. But are they really the one? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like spirit is like, come on now. Come, come on now with the world card and the four of wands. Yes, this is the one, you know, stop it now, you know? And so I don't know, Leo, you may have a connection here where it's the perfect match. It's the perfect match. But someone is still kind of like on the fence, like, <clears throat> is this really what I want? You know, two of wands. And the four of pentacles. Someone here doesn't want to make a decision. I'm kind of getting an energy that someone here maybe manifested something that they're not, like they want something that they're just not ready for. Look, see, two of swords, two of pentacles, two of wands. Like someone here is undecided. And the hanged man, Piscean energy. Someone here is trying to procrastinate. We have temperance, Sagittarian energy. Can you just give me patient and let me decide? Let me see what I want. The seven of swords. Why? Because this person here is trying to figure it out. They're Well, I don't want to say they're trying to figure it out. I feel like this person is trying to figure out a way to maintain the lifestyle that they want and maintain another type of lifestyle that they want. So, what I'm feeling is that someone likes being single and so somebody wants their cake and they want to eat it too. Let me just, let's just put it that way. Okay. So what's happening here is they have everything they could possibly desire. They've met their perfect counterpart here. They have this beautiful, stable, glowing connection. They've met this empress. Everything is fine. 
But this person is trying to figure out ways and excuses to procrastinate having to settle down. Three of Pentacles. Oh, and the Eight of Cups. This person appears solid and then appears emotionally disconnected. One minute they're all in, they're solid, it appears that they're all in. The next minute it's where the hell did they go? You know, Five of Pentacles. Um, it's like they're all over the place. Six of Cups. I feel like this is an ex Leo that keeps coming in and out of your life because they know you're the one, but they're, they haven't grown up yet. So they come in just long enough to make sure that they have you tied down and then they leave again. The lover's card, Gemini energy. So we have a soulmate connection, a soulmate connection, soulmate connection, divinely guided soulmate connection. There is a very strong soul tie here between you and this person. Problem is they, they just have to make a decision to give their heart to one person. OK, I don't know if maybe there's another person in the picture, like if they're juggling you and someone else or I, I feel like more. It's just a single lifestyle. Strong soulmate connection here. This person just has to make the decision that they want you and only you or they have to just accept that you're the one we've got. Um, the death card, scorpionic energy and the three of swords. Yeah, this person is afraid of change. This person is scared of change. And more than anything, they're scared of giving their heart to one person and getting hurt. That's the problem here. Chariot, Cancerian energy. And the three of wands. This person wants to make, they want to make the decision to go after what they want. But there's a fear here. Yeah, the tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. And the devil. Capricorn energy. There's a fear that everything is going to come crashing down and that it was all a lie. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah. I feel like someone here knows that you're the one, knows that they could be happy with you, right? So they come in long enough to make sure that you're still there and waiting, and then they leave again. The thing is, is though, is that you have this person's heart. They're just afraid. They're afraid of heartbreak. They're afraid that you're going to change their mind and maybe cheat on them or choose someone else. They want to go towards what they want, but they're afraid that as soon as they make the decision to give you their heart, that you're going to hurt them. That's the problem here. It's funny that sometimes, you know, people can come off as like massive buttheads. Like you don't understand this person is a, 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 an angel of Satan. Like, you know what I'm saying? I swear to gosh, they have spawns on their horns on their head. But sometimes they, someone may appear so evil. But at the end of the day, it's because they're so vulnerable. This is a very vulnerable person, believe it or not. And they come across as someone super toxic. They come across as a liar, a cheater, someone that doesn't want to settle down, someone who's noncommittal, someone who's undecided, someone who's just out to use you, someone who is not open emotionally. When in fact, Leo, you have this person's whole entire heart. This person may suffer abandonment issues from childhood, or there may have been an ex that abandoned this person or really, really really hurt this person at some point in time because this person has a fear that as soon as they give you their heart that you are going to hurt them so every time they want to come forward they're like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute let me take a step back let me think about this let me think about this and you know what they do they go find someone else to talk to that's what they do. They go find someone they go they go online they start talking to someone else to distract them. Do you understand? Not because they're really interested in a third party or not because they're really interested in that other chick or that other dude, but because they need the distra the distraction. You see, you see what I'm saying? Because they're afraid. They're afraid to give their whole heart. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Leos, please? Tell me about this King of Wands. The world. The Empress. And the Nine of Cups. So what's happening here, Leo, from the moment that this person met you, it was over for them. From the moment they met you, they knew hands down 100% that they had met the one. They had met their wish fulfillment. They had met the one. 
Two of Pentacles and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. But now they have to uh, make it appear like they're playing games. The Star card and the King of Swords. This person's very intelligent. They're very intelligent and their strategy is... I know this is what I want. I know this is what will make me happy, but I'm going to like create all this illusion, right? So that this person doesn't see that. They don't see that I know that they're the one because I don't want them to have that power over me. The world card and the knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This person wants to surrender to this, but they're, they're, procrastinating and taking their their time because with the high priestess and the four of wands their intuition knows this is my person this is the person that's meant for me um, but I'm afraid to show it two of wands and the hermit when it comes down to them making a decision they withdraw virgo energy when it comes down to being close to you they pull away four of pentacles and the moon cancer piscean energy this person keeps secrets this person doesn't open up this person doesn't want to show you how they feel about you two of swords and the five of swords this person will sabotage a connection over and over and over again just to cause um not to really end it, but just to cause, like, hit the pause button. Just to cause a period of stagnation. Do you understand what I'm saying? When they feel it coming together like it's too close, they have to separate for a minute because they're afraid. Temperance and the Six of Cups. Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. See, I feel like this is an ex that comes in with an apology and then does it all over again with that seven of swords energy. They come in, they come out. They come in, they come out. Do you understand? They're just, and I see that here too. They're working on it and then they're gone. Three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. They're working on building something solid. And then with the eight of cups and the chariot, they make the decision to disconnect. And I think it's all has to do, well, this came out, I don't know what this is. This is interesting. So look at what just fell out of my head. This just fell out of my hand. So we have the devil here, Capricorn energy, the five of wands, the knight of wands, and the knight of cups. So we have someone here. This is someone that's fighting some serious demons. I'm not going to lie. This is someone that with the devil and the five of wands fights their emotions. They fight how they feel. This person, what they do is when they start to feel love, they cover it with passion. So if they start to feel emotional like they love you, they go into player mode. They'll start a fight. They'll act toxic. They get crazy to cover up the love. This is... I don't know. Yeah, three of swords. They'll do something to break your heart. And then with the five of cups, they regret it. Because why? You are their four of wands. But they're just scared. They're scared to tell you. Page of wands and the nine of swords. They're scared to tell you how much you mean to them. And again, this person may have abandonment issues from childhood. I don't know. Or it could be an ex that hurt them. Five of pentacles and the page of pentacles. That's a child that maybe got abandoned at a young age or something happened at this with this person at a young age. Six of cups and the three of pentacles. I feel like maybe this person has been to counseling for whatever has happened to them. Um, Yeah, or this person should go have get some type of counseling over what was done. We've got the Lover's card and the Page of Swords. They already know that you're the one. Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. This person already knows that they are head over heels in love with you. This isn't about the fact that they have to choose you. See, with the Two of Wands, they already know. They're just too scared. The Death card and the Nine of Swords, they're petrified of change. They're petrified that you're going to change. They're petrified that they're going to give you all ten of their cups and that you're going to break their heart the chariot and the three of swords they're petrified that they're going to make this decision to come towards you and tell you that they want you with the justice card do the right thing by you and then boom out of nowhere you break their heart the tower and the queen of wands leo energy the devil and the four of wands i feel like they are afraid of finding out that this is all a lie 
they're afraid of that, Leo. Um, I swear to God, they are petrified that the minute that they say, okay, I love you and I want to do this, that this is all a lie and that you're going to just switch up on them and leave them. King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. We have a true pair on the board. Yeah, that this person, and they may not come off this way, really. We have new beginnings here. Patience. It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now, I'm going to say something that may aggravate you guys, and I'm sorry. We have secret lover. The relationship will be kept a secret. Just to be sure this decision is okay with, excuse me, the relationship will be kept a secret. Just be sure this decision is okay with both of you, and it's not one-sided. So, what we have here is somebody. What we have here is somebody that may come back this time for a new beginning. And I feel like what Spirit is telling you is now that you have this information, be patient with this person. Make it super duper clear that it is safe for them to love you. Because I feel here that what's happening is this person feels the need to keep their love for you a secret. OK, they feel the need to keep this a secret. OK, and that's why I say make sure this decision is OK with both of you, not just one sided. Obviously, it's not OK with both of you, Leo. If this person's in love with you, you want to know. OK, and that's why Spirit is saying if you love Leo, you need to tell Leo. OK, but this person is afraid to open up and they're keeping their feelings a secret because they feel like once you know that you have power over them, that you're going to hurt them. And now with the Justice card. You have to understand this person maybe has messed with you so much in the past that they may be scared to tell you that they love you just for the simple fact that if you know that you have power over them, you may try to hurt them. You say that you may try to extract revenge. So, you know, you may want to tell this person, listen, the past in the, is in the past. I love you. You know, these readings are for a reason. They're meant for you to have knowledge so that you understand how to handle situations. And I feel that, you know, this is your message, Leo. If this person comes back towards you, and even though you're going to be like, Gina, are you kidding me? They should be telling me that I'm safe and that I'm stable after everything they have put me through. And this is where you're called to be your higher self sometimes, Leo. You're, you know, if this person comes back in, maybe just be extra sweet or sit down and talk to this person. Let them know that, you know, you have no ill feelings towards them and that if they love you to just put it out there, you know, I don't know. You guys would know best how to word it. Okay. I love you. Bye.